Hi guys! Welcome back and thank you for joining me today. So this thing that we are going to unbox is something that you've seen in this channel last year. I returned this item last year when I got it and um, because of the leather scuffing on the side. I think everybody has got a toiletry pouch already, right? But I didn't want to go through the LV route because it's... Um, I honestly don't know how much i can put in there and i'm just done with small bags this one is uh, not available anymore in jakarta i think i got that last piece and they told me that um it's not in production anymore i confirmed it i got this one from green belt four the items that they have i think there are only two of of, from another store actually from the another branch and they haven't gotten any deliveries so it could possibly be true and i'm so happy that i got it i went into that store pre ecq season three in manila and i asked them to bring it to the branch near me gucci rarely increases their price so i it's probably the same price as it was before last like last year so this is the box it looks like shoe box right but it's not it's an ophidia toiletry pouch it's actually in the men's section the one for the ladies it's like the one like the LV26. It's very um, stiff. And I like this one because it's uh, soft. And I, I don't think this is so popular. I've never seen a lot of people actually raving about this. But um, I think this is uh, lower in cost than the toiletry 26 because a lot of people actually they they buy because they like they want to resell i don't think people buy for their use anymore it's like they think of like an after five years or something if they can actually sell the item but for me no i'm i'm actually buying for myself i'm not gonna use this as a toiletry pouch oh my god it's like it's a very expensive toiletry pouch and there you've seen this before it's like a cheesecloth so it's not gonna be easy to clean I haven't tested everything here and I hope oh yeah, everything is okay so they have the papers this is the responsibility and there is an informative like an RFID so this one has got a clip here, so it doesn't like, oops, oof, but stuff. So it doesn't dangle like that. Oof, it's nice. So I'm going to try to put some stuff. If you're interested, please stay tuned. I'm going to um, scrutinize this first because um, I did in the store. But you see, sometimes it's the handling. So now we will try to put some stuff here, like uh, for in-flight. iPad. This is the iPad Mini 5. It's just over there. Pochette accessoire. And you have your passport. I have a new edition. This is the Zoe wallet from Louis Vuitton. Let's say for some reason you want to bring your keys, you know, in the end flight there. So it's quite nice. It's quite roomy. And then you have your charger, packet of tissue, and of course your alcohol gel and your alcohol. And that's it. I think that's all you will need. So in this pouch, you have your charger and you have your earphones. So let's try. It's a bit bulky. 
see this is why i like the soft the softer um fabric um because it can at least bend on um, whatever shape you will put inside you just have to adjust yourself because it won't adjust itself so there you can actually put a little bit more say so we'll put the uh, sunglasses i think you should just put it in a soft pouch and voila see it's actually nice you know if you want to put um stuff inside your gym bag and mo most of the essentials are here like your wallet your your phone or anything so you don't have to carry another small bag or something like that this will arrange your life inside the gym bag okay so i think since you've known how big this is i don't think i should put some um, toiletry still you probably have an idea how much this can fit but just for kicks here's the louis vuitton um perfume case it's there it can fit there although it can't close you can just put it like so but i want to show you how i will actually use this so let's just say you use your rectiverse today and you have some stuff okay let's put some stuff in here because it's quite unfair if it's not full because this also adds to the volume of what you're gonna put inside the bag so there so it's quite full although it's quite um bendable so let's put it there there's still a lot of space and of course you want your keys and i always bring this this is from fino because all my um um like a lucky charms are here <laughs> not really all but you see i'm not chinese but you know it was given to me in the company event for chinese new year and i'm not so religious but um i was given this uh, rosary from um, fatima in portugal and so this is very very um, dear to me and also you see um most asians they like really trinkets from where they um, visit so i got this this is um pope john paul ii I went into the cathedral where um, where you can see this like there's a machine where you put coins and then it will generate uh, insignia or image of him I think this is from France so it's from Sacre Coeur de Montmartre I think that's how it's pronounced so it's very very um, kind of uh, close to my heart i really i've seen pope john paul ii in person when he went um in the philippines in manila where i used to study in college so he visited us there during world youth day so this is very important to me not just because of him and because it's um i got this from paris that was the very first time i've ever been to paris and that was the only time i've been to paris so it's very important and what's here and this one is like an amulet um i was um this is from chinese um new year as well last year and i have the universalis from uh, my son francis Kerjan. and <laughs> I'm sorry, I always have a tape measure and of course some some cards like loyalty cards and point cards that I have here in Manila. So I always have that in the hair tie. And I would sometimes bring my charger and my earphones just in case I get a call and it's it's very noisy out. So this is what I'm planning to use it for and my echo bag and my coin coin purse so this is how i'm gonna use this and actually won't use um 
sunglasses in Manila because we wear face shield here during this um, QQQ and but still it can fit it can fit there and you can put some more like masks or something I'm gonna show you what the face shield looks like it's a requirement to have this in a mask so this is very um, cheap it's about I got this on sale about 100 pesos I think what do you think guys like no I'm so happy that you're here and you're still watching my videos and you're still subscribing and thank you very much for being real with me and until my next video bye